Hey YouTube, Tunner again. Uh, I'm at my house. Figured I'll do a little uh, demos, a little uh, review of my current uh, home theater, basically. Um, it's completely dark in my living room, except for the light coming off my fish tank. I'll just show you some of the fish. You don't know what that is? I forgot. Those are Bella shark. These are two uh, silver belly catfish, I believe. And I have some red clawed crabs. That's a small one. There's a big one right here somewhere. I don't know. They they climb and hide all over stuff in here. Completely dark in here, except for my modem right there. You can see. And over here, I have some dimmers. I got these lights up here. And I have these right here. It's not exactly clean in here. Uh, I just had some people over. So they come and eat my house and leave their trash here. But basically, I have a Mitsubishi 82 inch 3D 1080p. Uh, it's a high res, high resolution TV. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. It's uh, pretty nice, actually. Uh, plenty of inputs and outputs and everything. The one output that every TV from from when the time they invented it to now should have is a optical out. You know, this TV is not cheap, and for the price I paid, I need an optical out for my surround sound. And it doesn't have one, so I'm using fucking uh, RCA output. So the sound still sounds good, but it's not like as good as optical. <clears throat> but anyways, I got these uh, two cabinets on each side. Uh, they are painted black by myself. They were wood grain. Uh, I just used Valspar satin black paint from Lowe's Hardware. And I got lights inside of them, so I can light up whatever's on them. Nothing yet. Got a little knife thing and uh, some uh, Wolverine claws. They are really heavy and they're not sharp because they're not supposed to be, but I might sharpen them. It's here, a pillow. And on this side, I have more pillows in the bottom, and then I have my Panasonic. Uh, 5.1 so, uh, surround sound with satellite speakers in the rear it's got HDMI out everything uh, radio it has an up convert it's a 5 disc changer there you go right there if it'll focus 5 disc changer with uh, wireless rear speakers AT&T U-verse and then AT&T U-verse for internet and U-verse for TV Here's my PS3, it's the older model, the 80 gig. It's dirty, scratched up, works like a champ. I haven't had it shut off or freeze like ever. Maybe it froze once. Uh, stock controller right here, nothing fancy done with it. Now I have this one, kinda supposed to be like a carbon fiber or something. It looks better on the camera. And I have these custom little bumpers for a hand grip, finger holsters, whatever. It really makes it comfortable to hold it. I mean, unbelievably comfortable. If anybody else wants to do this, feel free to copy it. Um, take the bottom, uh, take the controller part on the bottom. On the inside, heat it up with a lighter. Uh, a lighter is probably better because it's more directed in one spot. And it doesn't get as hot as a torch. I wouldn't use a torch. So I just use a lighter any old lighter and it takes some sort of round or square if you want a square one but round feels better and uh, like a, I use the end of a screwdriver a small one and jam it up in there as far as you want I did one for my friend where I put three little bumps you know they're about the same size so it'll hold his fingers right I just put one big one and it uh, real comfortable I didn't do any mods to this besides paint and those bumps but um, and then here's my you know big ass TV. Uh, it doesn't swivel or anything. It's not really supposed to. 
It's a DOP, which means, you know, it's not skinny. It's about 15 inches deep. But I'm not really complaining. And this table that's sitting on used to be this wood grain all over it. But I painted everything except for the top black. The top and the back are brown still. But it's, uh, and the drawers are still brown because, you know, I don't need to paint the inside. Got, you know, all kinds of movies, wires. Here's about 50,000 movies in here. And PS3 games and my iToy, my Move. I have my uh, uh, quick shooter, what the fuck it is, I forgot what it's called, right here. For playing like Kill Zone and stuff. I got Dead Island right here. This game's kind of hard. <laughs> Crisis, Kill Zone 3, Resistance 3, Beat It Already, GTA 4. Little Big Planet 2, uh, Fallout, New Vegas, Mortal Kombat, the new one, and what everybody else plays is Black Ops. And I have Gamefly, here is uh, Portal 2, and this other one is uh, Infamous, I think. Yeah, Infamous 2. But basically that's it. There's the sub right there. And I have these uh, two Panasonic tower speakers back over here. And in the back of the room, here's the uh, satellite speakers. They're real close to each other because I can't figure out where to put them because over here I have like a fucking door so I can't exactly put one in the corner unless it's all the way at the top. And I might just do that, I don't really know. But uh, that's basically it. If it's, uh, I wasn't gonna put those uh, shelves over there because I didn't think they'd fit. But actually, I have about 10 inches on each side. Perfect space to put those speakers over there. But uh, I'm gonna be getting a new couch soon. So these, yeah, these uh, tan-looking ones, they're real rough. They're soft, but they're rough. I'm gonna get either leather or um, something with a high thread count, real smooth and stain resistant because I got friends spilling stuff on them all the time. That's about that. Uh, just rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you if you think I could have done something better with this, let me know. If I think I did, if you think I did good, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Thanks a lot.